my name is Mitch and welcome to the channel. So today's video is going to be a follow-up video to the add custom hair and clothing to your Vroid model. Uh, this is going to be the Mac OS version. I know a couple people in these comments were wondering how to do it on Mac. And I actually didn't know how to do it at first, even though I do primarily use a Mac myself. Uh, but I did actually find a way. So if we go to booth.pm, um, link will be in the description down below, or you can just type it in. You want to make sure you're signed in right here. Uh, you may have to sign in. You can sign with a whole bunch of different accounts if you don't want to make a new account. Um, we'll just search for hair. And then uh, make sure you switch it back to free because you don't really want to pay for anything. And we're going to find something. Um, so like say like maybe this mohawk. Um, sorry, faux hawk. Um, I haven't really tested this one, but we'll see. We'll do it together. Um, so we'll go to our downloads right here. See a download preset 35. So if you open up Finder, go to our downloads. Should see preset 35, I believe. Yep, I download a couple to make sure. So go ahead and copy that. And then up, right up here, if you double click it or right click it, um, we need to go to our base users folder. Uh, mine's that. Um, and then we need to go to our library folder. Now, if you don't see your library folder, you probably won't by default. You just need to right click or double click um, somewhere outside of that and do view, uh, show view options and then click show library folder. Uh, because I believe by default that's not clicked. So we'll go into our library folder. We need to go to application support. Now they're actually, we'll make it a little bit bigger. There actually is a Pixiv folder, um, which might look a little similar. Um, this is, That was me testing it out. That's actually not where the hair presets folder is. That's actually in this folder, name. Uh, that's actually the default uh, program name for Unity, so they kind of... They kind of messed up on that one, I think. Um, and that's where our, our hair preset folder is. Um, so we just gotta go com.company.product name. Um, if you have any other Unity program installed on your Mac OS, it, it might be conflicting. Um, so I would look if the hair presets folder is not in that, I would look at uninstalling those programs, deleting this file, and then reinstalling the programs and reinstalling Vroid. So we have our hair, hair presets. We're gonna paste that. Uh, paste item, and then we're going to open up Vroid. So we're going to go ahead and just get a new avatar real quick. Um, can't remember which, oh, it was the Fohawk, that's right. Oh, well. Um, then we go to our hair editor, and preset 35 showed up right there. Cool. Um, so that's where all your different presets are going to be if you add more. Um, and then you'd be able to select them. And then once you have it selected, import for preset. There it is. Glorious faux hawk. Looks, looks not bad, actually. Uh, I might use that. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then in the previous video, I also showed out how to uh, add um, clothing textures. And it's, it's pretty easy. If you just go to texture and then pretty much default image import. Uh, and that's how you import the clothing. Um, link will be in the description down below of that previous video. But this is basically just to show how to do this on the Mac uh, side of things, which is really cool since I actually primarily use it on the Mac, uh, the Mac version. Um, but that's it. It was a quick tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, comments, or concerns, or any other ideas you want me to do, any other videos you want me to do, please let me know in the comments down below, and I will try to help you out. Thanks for watching.